<laughs> Here's a name I can say from the Eradicator. Hello and welcome to this channel everybody, this is the Eradicator and in this video we are going to follow up on one of this year's CitizenCon's major announcement and of course I am talking about the imminent implementation of server-side object container streaming, also known as SOX, as Chris Roberts called it during the final keynote presentation. But before we really get started, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe if you want to see daily Star Citizen content, click on the like button as it also helps spreading the word. So don't forget to do that as well as it helps. Uh, it really helps the channel and it is much appreciated. Thank you very much. All right, so let's talk again about server-side object container streaming, which is expected to be the next piece of technology that is going to take Star Citizen one step further when it comes down to delivering that kind of experience. Cloud of Imperium has been hyping us for years. Server-side object and content streaming will let servers stream the object players are seeing in the game in addition to your clients streaming what is visible in front of you. Right now, servers have to take into account every single object that is present into the verse, even if players don't see them or never go to them. With server-side object content streaming, this will no longer be necessary and we should already expect significant performance improvements in the form of better frames per second, a drastic reduction of server crashes, and improved synchronization. While many pessimistic voices are saying that server-side object content streaming would not be ready this year, including some people at Cloud Imperium behind closed doors, we were delighted to learn that it will actually be included into the Star Citizen Alpha 3.8 patch that is uh, scheduled to be released by the end of next month. And in fact, as I am uh, writing these lines, it is already given to the uh, Evocati test flight. You probably have seen the leaks right now. And uh, yeah, so we are very, very close from actually testing its very first iteration and finally experience more, uh, more enjoyable playtime. Now, what is server-side object clustering going to do? Well, first and foremost, Sox is going to finally allow the devs to add some decent content into the verse well, without removing content on the other side because of oversaturated servers. Not only are we going to get Planet Microtech by Star Citizen about 3.8, but we are also getting orbital stations such as uh, Port Tressler uh, above Microtech as well as its counterparts above Hurston and Arcorp. We should also get some content back as well, such as the missing rest stops, and that is just the tip of the iceberg in Star Citizen Alpha 3.9. Sox is going to open the gates to more content that would have until then not been possible to roll out, such as the first iteration of the dynamic economy we have all been waiting for for so long. This is a new tech that involves the spawning of hundreds of NPCs, and these NPCs trade and take missions just like you and players, but also work wherever they can find a job in the verse and have a home. The clumsy NPCs we see now at various stations and landing zones are merely just some placeholders that have been placed wherever they were placed only to bring us some flavors to those landing zones, but in fact, they are just either static or on rail on a scripted path. With server-side object container streaming, they become individuals with their own lives and personalities, and that will change everything once it makes it into the game. And considering what Tony Zorovec shown us at CitizenCon and the fact that he has been working on it for years, it might come sooner than later. Server-side object container streaming will also allow for a significant expansion of the game universe. During the second demo, Chris Roberts mentioned that as the Karak was making its way into the power system, that the latter will be introduced into the game this year. I could totally see Pyro coming for 4.1 and being a main focus point of next year's CitizenCon, while the Nyx system could come and make it into 4.2, as it is also a very easy system to make, and that its hero landing zone, Levski or Nyx, is also already there. With Star Citizen 3.8, we should also expect some significant server stability improvements, which should result in database needing a complete wipe less frequently. Please note that this is an objective and that it may require a, it may require a little bit of try and error on Clyde Imperials. And as we can currently see right now in the Evocati patch, because apparently it seems that servers are dying very quickly as of Star Citizen Alpha 3.8.0a. 
However, the goal is to have some kind of persistence that would allow players to accumulate money and assets over several patches. This does not mean that the wipe will have at the end of this year with the introduction of Star Citizen Alpha 3.8 will be the final one, and this means simply that 3.8 will mark the beginning of a new era of development for the game in which another pillar will be on its way to completion, just like 3.0 and 3.3 marked the beginning of a new era when Planet Tech and OJ Continuous Streaming were introduced. The last thing that I wanted to mention came as a shocker to me because I was not expecting it, but apparently Chris Roberts believed that server-side object content streaming will allow the devs to raise the player cap per instance. Right now, we have been limited to 50 players per instance since the start of the baby PU back in Star Citizen 2.0. We should apparently expect to see this change this year, and quite frankly, I don't think that it is a bad thing if servers can handle it. Even right now, it is possible to have our long experiences in the game without seeing anyone because everyone is near Port Orisar, trading between Hurston or Air, you know, those popular places. More players means more versatility and more emergent gameplay, more value added gameplay, and it is going to make the game more alive and more exciting. So that's why I think that 3.8 and beyond is going to bring the game uh, is going to bring the game to a next level thanks to the upcoming release of server side object announcement streaming. This patch may not seem uh, like it, but it will be a major milestone for the future of the development of South Citizen. But please tell me what you think. I would like to know in the comments down below what you think will change with will change the most with the introduction of Star Cities of uh, Server Side Object Container Streaming. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button as it really helps the channel a lot. I'll see you guys in another video. This is the Eradicator. I am signing out.